Number two, what is the angular speed of letter A, the second hand, letter B, the minute hand, and letter C, the hour hand of a smoothly running analog watch? Answer in radians per second. So this is some old watch, you don't see them anymore. Uh, I mean, at, at least as often as before. And then you, you have three different hands. This one is the second hand, this one is the minute hand, and this one is the hour hand. And you, we want to know their angular speed. So there are only two things that you must know to solve this problem here. The first of them is the relation between the angular position and the angular speed. So this is the equation that we are going to use. So we want to know the angular speed. So of course the angular speed is equal to the angular position divided by some time t over here. And the second thing that you must know is that 300 degrees, that means a full circle, is equal to 2 pi radians. So 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. So those are the only two things that you need to know to solve this problem here. Okay, so let's go for letter A. So for letter A, we are analyzing the second hand and we can use the information that it goes through a full circle in one minute, right? It starts, like say, over here and thus 360 degrees in one minute. So in this case, for a full circle, delta T is equal to 60 seconds and the displacement, the angular displacement, is equal to 2 pi radians. So using this equation here, we find that the angular speed is equal to 2 pi divided by 60. It's better if you write the unit, because maybe you don't know by heart the unit. So this is the answer, 0 0.105 radians, oh sorry radians per second radians per second so this is the trick for you to do not miss the unit just look at here and then you get the correct unit over there right okay so for letter b the minute hand so it's the same thing however a full circle is one hour so it is 60 seconds times 60 minutes so times 60 because we have 60 hours six, 60 minutes in one hour so we have 60 minutes in each minute we have 60 seconds so this is equal to 300 we don't have this unit over here so we have 3600 3, seconds in one hour so this is one hour Okay, so that's delta t. And we are going to use the same equations before. So we also have the, the angular displacement is equal to 2 pi radians. So the angular speed is going to be 2 pi divided by 3060. And this is equal to 1.75 times 10 to the minus 3 radians per second. So that's the answer of letter B. Letter C, it's, it's probably where you're going to make some mistakes because the thing here is that you, you only have 12 hours and not 24 hours. So delta T in this case is equal to 12 hours and not 24 hours. So 12 hours, it's 12 times this value over here. 12 times 3600 and this is equal to 43,200 seconds so that's the amount of seconds that you have in 12 hours most of my students use 24 hours so there is a mistake there okay so the angular speed will be equal to 2 pi as well we are using a full circle again so 43 and 200 and this is equal to 1.45 times 10 to the minus 4 radians 
per second and that's the answer of letter C.